Welcome back to another Collectible Spotlight on that Halloween movie, Collector Path. This week, we're going to take a look at something that um, I love about Halloween, besides just the movie, is the soundtrack. I thought it'd be cool to go back to um, the very first release of the soundtrack, which was actually the Japanese vinyl release in 19, August of 79. It came out on a 45 record right before the full LP did come out for the Halloween theme and the Lori's theme which were actually called something different at the time until the, until the release in 1983. I mean, growing up, I loved vinyl. I mean, I used to spend all my money on vinyl and, and tickets, concert tickets, especially mostly Kiss stuff, if anybody knows I'm a big Kiss fan. And I used to love the vinyl. I used to love the, the 45 records. I used to have some cool uh, picture sleeves and they were fun to collect. I especially loved the import stuff, which was hard to find. I mean, I had an advantage growing up in near New York City. There were some cool record stores, and you can go into the city and buy some great stuff that you didn't see in uh, you know, small town America. And uh, it was just a lot of fun, a lot of great memories. And then CDs came in, and of course, I ended up buying tons of them. As you can see from the, th the hundreds of them, near a thousands of them behind me, I still have them all. I sold my record collection years ago, except my Kiss records, gave them to my son. This new generation collects vinyl, which is awesome, and they appreciate that. Uh, well, most of them appreciate good, good music. But I digress. I don't want to keep uh, chewing everybody's ear off. Let's dive into this and take a look at this. The first release of the Halloween soundtrack was actually in August of 1979. The soundtrack wouldn't be released in America until 1983. The 45 RPM was released in August of 1979 by Nippon Columbia Records, which was basically the Japanese subsidiary of the American Columbia Records. It was licensed by a company called the Joy Pack Film Corporation, who must have held the trademark uh, in Japan at the time. The catalog release number was LK-115, and it contained on side one, theme from Halloween, and on side two, the night he came home. Both titles would eventually change on the US release to Halloween theme main title and Laurie's theme. It listed music is composed by John Carpenter, performed by the Bowling Green Junior Philharmonic Orchestra, which is simply just the, the fake orchestra that <laughs> John Carpenter gave a name to uh, on the original Halloween release, which is basically him just doing the soundtrack himself because he was from and named it Bowling Green Philharmonic because he's from Bowling Green, Kentucky. The Japanese version of the score, you can glaringly hear that it was done on keyboard. It wasn't the original. Uh, piano-driven soundtrack that uh, John Carpenter did. Because if you listen to it, you can you can definitely hear the keyboards rather than the, the regular piano. And what was weird too is if you listen to the Halloween main theme on the Japanese re release, there's this like eerie intro, which doesn't appear on anything else to my knowledge. It would go back to the piano-driven original theme that uh, Carpenter did create for the original movie on the 1983 vinyl release. Only difference was was um, this glaring drum, like bass drum pounding march for some reason that, that they added, which for some reason I have no idea why they did that. Thankfully, it was it was dropped and went back to the original sounding score uh, that was on the 20th anniversary CD. The original CD release and cassette releases also had that pounding uh, bass drum sound for whatever reason. I don't know why that was added. I'm sure at the time of the release of this uh, 45, back then, 45 records from what I remember, were like two dollars and fifty cents you know especially with a picture sleeve maybe three dollars so that was probably what it cost at the time and on today's market now these are very sought after people get a kick out of it, especially people that love the imports the japanese vinyl which uh, to the japanese people's credit they kept their vinyl impeccable i mean you buy vinyl from the 60s and the 70s and it's usually pretty well kept uh doesn't even look like it's ever been played uh the majority of it 
But on today's collectible market, these are selling for maybe a hundred bucks, 150, maybe it's slightly higher depending on, you know, you know, how bad a collector might want it. But that's generally the prices I'm seeing them go for. There is a variant of it, but if you want to call it a variant, they do have a promotional one with a, I guess, a promo um, stamped on it, which I've n never seen, but it says it does exist. Um, and one of these days, if I find it, I'm going to get it and add it to my collection. But that being said, that was this week's uh, collectible spotlight. I will be spotlighting the entire um, Japanese release of the LP one of these days with my fellow collector and good friend Dan, who's actually the OG Shape 1978 on Instagram. We've been trying to coordinate it for weeks, but our schedules just don't seem to sync up. So it'd be nice to have a, a person join me on one of the collectible spotlights. Uh, he has one too, so we could talk about it and uh, just shoot, you know, just shoot the crap out back and forth and just discuss it and maybe a little bit more. So that should be fun whenever our schedules actually sync up together. I do uh, the collectible spotlight. I try to drop one every Friday evening at 10 o'clock, uh, time permitting if I get it done during the week. I also do a uh, Halloween Collectors podcast every Sunday night at 7 p.m. with some great fellow collectors. Over on the Michael's Horror and Pinball YouTube channel, go check that out. We spotlight video, uh, videos, we spotlight horror, everything Halloween, Halloween collecting in general. It's just a lot of fun with some great guys. I have my Instagram page, which is at that Halloween movie collector. That's where my collection is categorized. There's pictures, you know, information about it. So if you, I just put it there for people to enjoy as much as I enjoy it. Do you see something like to see a spotlight on? By all means, you know, reach out to me. And I also have my Halloween collectors group, Halloween and Michael Myers collectors group on Facebook. Join, hang out, chat, buy, sell, do some memes, and uh, just have a good time. A lot of good people in there too. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed putting this together. Anything you want to see, just don't hesitate to comment down below. All my links are there, and I will talk to you soon.